Hello, my name is Jennifer. I'd like to speak to you about reasonable assurance and how it may affect unemployment benefits in the state of Kansas. This topic particularly applies to school employees and employees of educational service agencies. Reasonable assurance is a provision that is required by federal law and is addressed during a school vacation or recess period. Let's start off defining who reasonable assurance affects. For unemployment purposes, a school employee is a person who works for or provides services for an educational institution or an educational service agency that contracts work to schools. A school employee is any individual that is employed in administrative or instructional capacities. This encompasses bus drivers, bus aides, food service staff, building maintenance, substitute teachers, crossing guards, coaches, school nurses, teachers, and principals, to name a few. Now that you have a general idea of what the Kansas Department of Labor considers a school employee, let's focus on what reasonable assurance is. Reasonable assurance is an agreement made by the employer that the employee will perform the same or similar services in the next term. This agreement can be written, verbal, or implied, and does not have to be with the same school or educational service agency. It is important to note that reasonable assurance is not a guarantee of employment in the next term. It is simply the intent of the employer to bring the employee back the next term. The Department of Labor will consider several things when determining if reasonable assurance exists. These may include the past employer-employee relationship, an established understanding that the employee will return to work, if the employee has placed their name on a list of available workers, whether the employee has reason to believe they will not be called back. As an employer, it is recommended that employees are given written instructions as to whether they can reasonably expect to return to work. Written notification enables you to provide documentation that reasonable assurance was offered and assists the Department of Labor in determining whether an individual is qualified to receive unemployment benefits. The reasonable assurance notice should be issued by an individual with the authority to assure employment. Some of the information the Department requests to make a determination includes, but may not be limited to, employer or business name, date, employee's name, issuer's name, and position, verbiage that clearly states that the individual is being given reasonable assurance of returning to work, the start and end dates of the school year or term, including the dates of any pre-scheduled vacation or holiday periods. Many of the questions you may have outside of what we've covered today may be found on the Kansas Department of Labor employer website at www.kansasemployer.gov. I appreciate your time today and hope you found the information about reasonable assurance helpful.